Hi guys, my name is Emma and today we're going to be doing a sideline series. Sideline series is one of my most favourite things to do in a Pilates class. I absolutely love it. So let's get ready for a nice little glute and leg burn up. No equipment needed for today, just your beautiful self and a beautiful mat. Let's get started. Okay guys, let's start by coming down onto your mat and lying down. What a great way to work out. So, for a side lying series, you can rest your head in your hands or you can lie right down on your arm and rest your head on your arm. I'm going to keep my head lifted today. So, what we're going to do is bring those legs forward. So, if you're lying on a mat, you kind of want to bring those legs to the top back corner of your mat. So, they're in a nice kind of diagonal line. We're going to press that top hip away so we're not standing onto the mat. So we're going to press that top hip away, making sure that those hips are nice and even. Good. You can have your top hand uh, next to you, so in front of your ribs for some extra support, or you can hold onto your hip, whatever you fancy. Pointing through your toes, we're going to lift that leg and then lower it down. We lift that leg and then lower it down. So the top of the foot is facing towards the front of the room here. We're not coming out in a turned out position. We are staying nice and parallel to start off with. So we're here through the side of our leg here. Keeping our core nice and engaged. So keep zipping your uh, belly button towards your spine. So everything's really nice and stable. We are balancing on the side of our body here. So we don't want to be waving our body from side to side. We're staying really nice and stable. Really press down on your palm um, or on your fingers if you need that extra support. Good. So I don't know about you, but I'm already feeling it in my, to the side of my leg. Good. Let's do four more here. Nice long leg, keep zipping up through the knee. Three, two, the last one. Let's hold it up, little pulses here, little pulse. Little lift, little lift, good. Now you really want to be engaging through the back of your leg here and your glute. So turn them on. Nice little squeeze. Good. We have four, three, two, and one. When you're ready, we're going to do tiny little circles. So I want you to think that you are drawing around a tiny little golf ball. So it's a tiny little circle, really nice and controlled. Good. Keep going here. Nice, we have four, three, two, and one. Let's reverse the circle. Good, keep going. Nice work. We have four, three, two, and one. When you're ready, you're going to tap your toe to the floor in front and then tap it behind. We tap, tap, and tap, tap. Again, staying really nice and controlled. Keep your abdominals really nice and engaged. Try to not sit with that foot here. So we don't want to be turning in that toe and pressing the toe down like that. We're keeping that foot nice and in line with your leg. And the side of the toe is being tapped down onto the floor. Good. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, good, let's do four, three, two, and last ones. Beautiful work. Now, when you're ready, lift that leg up. We're just gonna sweep it to the front, flex that foot, sweep it to the back. Point that foot to bring it forward, flex that foot to bring it back, good. So, with this movement, we are getting a little bit more movement through the hips here, but I don't want you to fall front and fall to the back as you bring that leg forward and back. You're staying really nice and stable through your upper body here. As you bring that leg back, really give it a nice squeeze through where your glute and hamstring meet. Good, so that leg will slightly come back just behind your bum. Good. Two more, then we'll add on. Good. And last one. Beautiful. Now, when you're ready, we are going to sweep that leg forward and make a massive circle and then bring it back around. 
Good. Sweep it forward. The top of the foot will look towards the top of the roof and then come down. Good. Sweep it forward. Big circle. Try not to move that body <laughs> too much. Good. And one more. Sweep it. Woo. Good work. Let's reverse. So we bring that leg back. That top of the foot looks towards the ceiling and then come back around. Good. Nice. Stay nice and controlled. You feel your abdominals getting a workout as well in these movements. Good. I can't remember how many we have left. <laughs> Let's do two more. Good. And last one. Woo! Awesome, awesome work, guys. So bringing that top leg now, so the leg you're just working over the top of that bottom foot. Plant that foot down. If this is too uncomfortable for you, you can bring the foot behind you or you can bring your knee down. Make sure that that hip isn't coming forward though. Always press that top hip away, making sure that this top, those feet are in line, uh, those hips are in the line, alignment with each other. That leg, bottom leg is still winging out on that 45 degree or that diagonal angle here. Flexing through that foot, we lift that bottom leg and come down. Now, we're working through the inner thigh here. So we really want you to engage through, really um, to lift up through that inner thigh. So you really want to engage through that inner thigh. You're also working through your lower abdominals, so keep them nice and on. Try not to relax through that upper body. Well, we'll relax through the upper body, but keep um, everything nice and engaged. Good. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Relax, but keep it being engaged. <laughs> oh dear. Good. It's almost like relax, like keep things still, but still keep engaging through your abdominals. That's pretty much what I mean. <laughs> Don't know if that makes any sense. Good. Actually, I've got to move my leg because I'm feeling that look through. There we go. So you get a bit of, bit of better idea here. And again, you can press that top hand in front. Good. Keeping that leg nice and straight. Lovely. Two more. And last one. Let's hold it up. Little pulses here. Good. Keep going. Good. We have four, three, two, and one. When you're ready, bend that knee and press that heel away. So we bend and stretch that leg. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Good. Keeping that foot nice and flexed. You're pressing something away with that heel. Press. So it's a nice and strong movement. Let's do two. Last one. A little quicker. <laughs> So yeah, a little bit, a little bit quicker. Ooh. Good. We have three, two, one. Literally little circles. Oh my goodness, little circles here. Keep going. Three, two, one. Then reverse. Good. We have three. Two and one. Lovely work, everyone. Bending through your knees now, bringing that top leg on top of the bottom leg. Again, make sure that those hips are in line with your whole body and then press that top hip away. What we're going to do is quickly come into our clamp. So bring your top knee up and then come down. Top knee up and then come down again, making sure you're not falling back on your hip. We're staying nice and um, we're balancing on the side of our body here and we're using the side of our glute to help us bring up that knee rather than switching on our hip flexor. Good. Lovely. Keep going. Let's do four more. Three, two, last one. Hold it up, little pulses. So it's just a little press back, little press back. Give yourself that resistance here, guys. Good, we have four, three, two, and one. And I swear, bringing that leg down. When you're ready, we bring the knee, shin, and foot up, and then come down. So coming into your lateral leg lift here. 
Good. So this one takes a little bit of practice because generally when we start doing this, we bring either the knee up first or the foot goes up first and it's like, how do I do this? So it does take a little bit of practice, but do try and get that shin, knee and foot up together. Also try to make sure that you're not opening up through the hip too much. That leg should just be coming just kind of above hip height. So not to really want to control that movement. Again, the movement's coming from the side of your glute here. And make sure you're not sinking, sagging into the mat. Keep that alignment. Good. Let's do three more. Two. And last one. Hold it up. Little pulses here. Good. Little lift. Little lift. We have four. Three. Two and one. Oh, when you're ready, I'm so sorry, this is going to burn a bit, but <laughs> knee to knee, toe to toe. Knee to knee, toe to toe. Good. Now, if you find it too hard to do toe to toe and you're sickling that foot, we don't want to be doing this. Flex through that foot, open up through the um, foot a little bit and do heel to heel. It's a little bit easier to control. Otherwise, you're toe to toe. Good. Now let's speed it up. Let's go, 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 go. Ooh. This is where it really starts to burn. Let's go. We have four, three, two, and one. I think there's more than that, but anyway. <laughs> Good. Oh, sorry. You probably want to hear what I'm doing. So give your glute a little love tap if you'd like. If you need to tap it out a little bit. <laughs> Good. I'm just going to do one more thing on this side, and then we'll come to the other side. So lifting up that leg again, we're going to do big circles with that knee. So it's just going to go one way. There we go. You can really kind of feel it. It's not really big circles. I guess it's kind of like a miniature circle. Not a miniature circle, a medium sized circle. <laughs> Good. It feels a bit funny to get this movement. It takes a lot of control because you don't want that top hip to move. And reverse. Good. Nice. Let's do three more. Two. And one. Oh my goodness. My glute is on fire. Awesome work, guys. Let's quickly come to the other side. So flipping your legs around. And coming down onto your side, finding your comfortable side line position. I'm just fixing up through my mic. Okay, so those feet, uh, legs are coming out on that diagonal angle. Press that top hip away. Top hand is in front here. Making sure that those feet are facing towards the front of the room. We're not in a turned down position. We're in parallel. We lift up and then come down. We lift and lower. So making sure your leg is nice and straight here. So you really want to pull up from the knee. Everything's nice and engaged. And you should really feel like a nice engagement through the back side of your glute. Two. Nice. Let's do three. Two. And one. Hold it up. Little pulses. Again, staying nice and controlled in your abdominals. Two. Tiny little pulses. We have four, three, two, and one. Stay so lifted little circles forward. So remember with this one, with these are just tiny circles. So you're painting around a golf ball. Good. We reverse in four, three, two, and one. And reverse. Keep going. We have four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Tap, tap to the front, tap, tap to the back. Tap, tap to the front, tap, tap to the back. Again, no sickling of the foot, please. Keep it. Keep the foot in nice alignment so it's 
and line it with the rest of the leg. Minimal hip movement from the hips here. Good. Let's do three, two, and one. Finish it off. Lovely work. Coming back to centre, lift that leg up. You sweep that leg forward, flex, bring that leg behind you. Point to bring that leg forward, flex, bring that leg behind you. So again, that leg is coming slightly behind your glute. As you bring that leg back, you will find that um, the, your hamstring and your glute will engage a lot more. Good. So with this movement, guys, you want to make sure that that leg is on that same kind of level. So think of it as if it's going, the leg's going across the table. So it can't like kind of wave, you know what I mean? It's just staying at that same level. Easier said than done. <laughs> Good. One more here. Good. And let's come into our circle. So bring it forward, up, back. And around. Good. Forward, up, back, and around. Control the movement. Good. Two more. Last one. Ooh, beautiful work. Let's reverse. So bring it back, up, around, and down. Good. Back, up, around, and down. So you bring that heel back, that foot faces towards the ceiling, and then around. Good. Good, two more. I think we've done more on the side, but anyway. <laughs> um, on this direction, I mean. And last one. Good, awesome. So you keep that bottom leg there. Again, bring, bring that top leg over, or you can bring it behind you, or bring that knee down. Keeping those hips in alignment, flex through that foot. We lift. And lower. We lift and lower, keeping your core nice and engaged. Remember, you're working through your lower abdominals here as well. Good. Up and down. Lift and lower. Good. Then our leg is nice and straight, nice and strong. Good, let's do three, two, last one. Hold it up, little pulses. Good, we have four, three, two, and one. When you're ready, we bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Good, so think about pressing that heel away and really straightening through the leg as you straight, obviously straighten that. <laughs> Good. Let's do three more. Two. Last one. When you're ready, a little presses. Tiny little presses, but a little bit quicker. Than what we were doing before. <laughs> Good. Let's do three. Two, one, hold that leg out in little circles. I can't remember if we did this on the other side. I think we did. If not, go back and do it on the other side when you get a chance. <laughs> Good, we have three. Oh, sorry, reverse. I didn't tell you to reverse. Three, two, and one. Awesome work, guys. I've been carrying away there. Sorry. Bringing those knees up. So those knees should be in line with your hips. Press that top hip away. We're coming into our clams. So those heels, the feet are nice and super glued together here. And again, think about that movement coming from the side of your glute. You can keep that top arm down if you like, or keep on your hip to make sure that those hips aren't, that top hip, hip is coming forward. Nice and stabilized. Good. Let's do three, two, the last one. Hold it up, little pulses. Good. 
good, we have four, three, two, and one. Nice work, bringing that leg down, kind of straight into our lateral leg lift. So lifting up and coming down. Oh, I'm already feeling it. <laughs> Lift up and come down. Again, try to not sit with that foot here as well, keeping that foot nice and in line with the shin. And making sure that you're going up in the same pace as you're coming down. So when we lift our leg up, we don't want to just drop it down. You're really giving yourself that resistance, giving yourself that control. It's almost like that leg is going through water. So lifting up, control, control the lower down as well. Good. Lift up and down. Let's do three more. I said that so much in this class. Two. And last one, hold up. Little pulses, little lift up. I can feel it in my side glute. We have four, three, two, and one. Keep that leg lifted knee to knee, toe to toe, knee to knee, toe to toe, or knee to knee, heel to heel, knee to knee, heel to heel, whatever you find a bit easier. Good. So I'm really carving out through the side of my glute here. Keep going. Nice. Can we go a little bit quicker? Let's go, 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 go. Woo. <laughs> Good. We have four, three, Two and one, beautiful work. Bring that leg down, give yourself a little love tap. We just have those circles, guys, and then we're all done. So lifting up that leg, little circles. One way, it can be any way, we'll do both. So good. So again, that leg is staying in that nice um, right angle position. We're just moving through the knee, and you can really feel it through the side of that glute. All right, let's reverse, reverse that leg. Ooh. Good, there's two, three more, oh, I said it again. Two, and last one. Oh, goodness me. Three must be my favorite number for today's class. Good work, everyone. Coming up, let's just do a quick little uh, glute stretch. So bringing uh, one ankle, I'm gonna do the opposite leg first, bringing that ankle over the knee. So the opposite leg that we just worked, otherwise that other leg would be on fire. Um, and press up into the chest, press those shoulders down, those hands behind you. So this, this is just a figure four stretch, a seated figure four stretch. Good, and just breathing here. Nice, heel toeing that foot over towards the other side. Plant that heel down and grab onto that knee with that opposite arm and just twist over. You don't have to twist too far here, but what we want to focus on is drawing that knee in towards your chest so you feel, feel it in the side of your glute. So feeling through that glute here rather than worrying too much about the twist. Good, and let's take it to the other side. So other leg, we'll come over the other knee. Press up into those shoulders, nice proud chest. Hands are behind you. You might really feel it on this other side, considering we just worked this side. Good, just breathe into it. It's really important that you don't hold that breath. Good, and just heel toeing the foot over towards the other side, grab onto that knee with the opposite arm and take a twist. I'm just going through these stretches really quickly. So please make sure, feel free to hold the stretches for a lot longer. And you know, feel free to stretch it out afterwards as well. Do some other stretches. All right, guys, that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed that sideline series. If you have any requests for any other uh, workouts, please let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you click the subscribe button and um, subscribe to me and watch my other videos. <laughs> I'm such a salesperson. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that session um, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.